Hello and welcome or welcome back to Code Harvest. In this video, we are going to be creating the product page of our website where we will be displaying each project, uh, each product individually, uh, displaying its image, its title, its price, description, size, and so much more as you have seen from the beginning of this video. Now we're going to be using a lot of JavaScript and a little bit of HTML and we're going to be using functions such as local storage. So now without further ado, let's get started. All right, so now we are going to be uh, creating the product page itself. So this one is called products HTML. We're going to create one called product of course you can name it anything that you would like to and uh, now we have already included the navigation bar so now when we head over to product page we can see that it is quite blank on the bottom but we have a navigation bar set so now we are going to be creating a container that will fill about 80 percent so from here to here and we're also going to be creating the box itself Okay, so now that we are done with creating the container, the box, and making sure that it is divided by two, so one side will have the image and one side will have the contents, including the title, uh, the price, the description, as well as the size and the buttons. So now we're going to be working on the CSS side as obviously there is nothing inside just yet. Alright, so now we are done designing our white box, so it has a little bit of a border radius and it has a box shadow. Uh, we also made sure that it was divided by two, so half of uh, the box would be filled by the image and half of the box would be filled by the contents, such as the title, the price, the description, uh, the buttons, everything like that. And that's also the reason why we included flex direction column, as we want everything to be in a column. Alright, so now we are going to be working on um, including the image properties. We're not going to be including the image just yet, because we're going to be using JavaScript in order to display that image. But for now, we're going to be including the properties, so the width and the height that we want. And uh, we're also going to be working on uh, including the text for our single product box content right here. All right, so now as you can see, we have included or added our title, our uh, price, as well as our paragraph and buttons. So now we're going to be designing this to our liking and make, and we're going to make sure that we design it well with spacing and uh, maybe make it a little bigger. For example, the title should be a little bigger or the price should be a little bolder and so on. Alright, so now that we have completed our content, we've included every uh, the title, the price, the description, size, and the buttons. Uh, now all we have to do is include our image, but we'll do that later on. So now what we're going to be doing is working on our JavaScript code. So what we're going to be working on is when we are at the products page and when we click on any product, uh, it should lead us to the product page, uh, the single product page. So we should be able to see or view core risk. But first, we're going to have to include an anchor tag, uh, which I have already included. So it will just basically be a link. So when you click on this, it should link us to the product page. So I've already included the anchor tag over here and I referenced it to the product HTML page. That's all we needed to do. In order to understand what's going on uh, over here, please do watch episode four of the Comfy web series. Okay, so when we click on one, uh, we are led to the product page. However, now uh, what we need to do is edit our title. Our title should be what, according to what uh, product we clicked. So for example, if I click on Coral Risk, I should get Coral Risk, not Rose Gold. All right, so now we're going to be including or uh, we're actually going to be creating a new JavaScript file and we'll call it Product Handler. And over here, we're just going to create a function and we're also going to call that product, hun uh, product handler and we're going to just say uh, we want to access all of the products. All right, so now as you can see, we're going to be using this line of code in order to collect all of the products. So everything that has product as its class and uh, we're going to detect or uh, try to identify the products that is being clicked. So we're going to be using the for each method and we're also going to be using add event listener. But first, we are going to make sure that all products return a list of products. 
So now uh, for each product, and if the product happens to be clicked, then we want to create a new variable and we're gonna call this uh, product name. And we're gonna be using the query selector method in order to collect the, uh, the product's price. And we also want to access uh, the product's image. All right, so now specifically, we actually want to get the uh, source of that image. So we do not care if it has, if it mentions the width height or the alternative, uh, the alternative for the image. We just want the source. So we're going to use get attribute. Okay, so now we're going to be storing these variables, product name, product image in our local storage. Uh, and also one more thing, we also need to include the price. All right, so now we're going to be including the local storage method. So we're going to start with product name. Uh, whoops, we're going to set item uh, and we're going to call this string item name. So that's the value. Uh, sorry, that's the key. And now the value is obviously product name and we want it to be stored as a string. So we'll get or we'll collect the text content or the text or the string version of this HTML object. All right, and we're going to do the same for product image and product price. All right, so now we're going to be including this function over um, in here. So we're going to be including the script. And now we're also going to be including the function in here. Once again, if you do not understand what's going on, please do watch episode uh, episode four and episode five of the Comfy web series. So after everything is included in the inner HTML, after all products are stored in the inner HTML, resulting in this display, we're going to be including the, uh, the function, oops, product handler. So when, uh, so when all the products are already displayed, we want to be able to click on them and so that we can be uh, redirected to the product page. All right, so now uh, when we click on a product first, we still do not get the title that we desire. Uh, number one is because uh, we, we set uh, the title as rose gold. So we're just gonna remove that for now and we're also going to remove the price. Okay, and we're also going to be creating another function. So this function is going to be over here in product, in the product page. Uh, we're just gonna put it up here and we're going to say, we wanna get the item from local storage. The current item that is stored in local storage should be taken. So item name, item product, and item image as well. And we want to capture or select uh, the title, which is the ID of the title, which is single product title, the image, which is single product box image, and the price, which is single product price. All right, so now we are almost done. We are done with JavaScript. So all we need to do is style our image and include a border radius. Uh, and we also need to make sure that it stretches to uh, the full height of the box minus a little padding. All right, so now we have created the box. We have created the title, the price, uh, included the price, included the image. So now when we click on any random product, we should get the image uh, as well as the name and the price. Uh, let's go with maybe chairs and maybe get the last, uh, last item and we get that exact thing. Now, uh, however, it does not work for things in index. It only stays at the last item that was stored, which was this chair right here. So now uh, we also have to include this in our index page. So now we need to find the part uh, that in which our images are displayed in, uh, which is in this area, product HTML uh, dot inner HTML. So right after that, we just want to call out product handler. And we also want to include the, the function as well. All right, so now when we click on an image in index, we get that image. And for example, uh, perhaps we click next. Oh, my room piece looks nice, actually. Here. So we get that image, we get its title, and we get its price. All right, so now we have come to this end of the video and we have achieved our goal, which was to create a product page and to also use JavaScript in order to link our products to the product page by using JavaScript and by using local storage to set the item in local storage and to get the item from local storage. So now when we click on any random object, we get the object that we clicked. Alright, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do give this video a like if you enjoyed this video and if you learned something new, comment down below and subscribe if you have not already. Also, share this video to your friends, your family, your loved ones and see you in the next video. Goodbye!